Welcome back today with the Harley Benton R446 in plum metallic. This guitar is available in more colors. Graphite, red, green and blue. And of course in this beautiful plum. Most interesting color in my opinion. All colors are metallic, um, which is pretty rare in this at this price point. 149 euro. Great, great price. And I will tell you in this video why. <laughs> Okay, let's start. We got a Poplar body. Poplar is a pretty light wood. And this guitar weighs overall 3.3 kilograms. Very balanced on a strap. Okay, no neck dive or something. We got a Canadian maple neck. Yes, and it's a slim profile. This time it's really slim. If you saw my Amarok video, these Amarok necks are not very thin. But this is the slim modern neck c-shaped fits the guitar really nicely it's not a wizard neck no it's not a wizard thin there's something to it but uh, yeah very comfortable this canadian maple neck is bolt on to the body um, four screws here four black screws and we got this rounded heel here which makes it very comfortable but not you know, to reach the last fret, not so much. Uh, my thumb hits here, you know, around the 17th fret. And then I have to spread a little bit to get to the last fret. But I mean, how often do you play the last fret? If you play like this classical style, you got no issues at all. On this Canadian maple neck, we got an amaranth fingerboard. Amaranth, a very dark wood. At first, it looks like ebony very cleanly made. I have to say this overall guitar is very clean. Usually with Harley Benton if you get a guitar in this price range they can be pretty dirty and and you know finishing issues or something and the fretboard is rough and you got on this white binding you will have dirt everywhere but this guitar overall is super clean. Super clean. 24 frets, um, not stainless steel, normal normal steel, um, standard frets, jumbo frets. Um, but here's my first big issue. They were all pretty rough. 24 frets rough and I had sharp fret ends. Easy fix. I had a little file here and got rid of the sharp fret ends. But yeah, the polishing took a lot of time. It's a great touch, this dark fingerboard on this metallic guitar looks really clean and mean. We got this offset inlays, very nice. I saw this the first time on a Schecter Keith Merrow, which makes total sense. You got the inlays here where you play riffs and then for soloing stuff you got the inlays down here. Makes somehow totally sense, right? And it's a very modern touch. Um, let's go back to the fingerboard. This is the large radius fingerboard. 15.75 inch. What this means is the higher the number, the flatter the fingerboard is. Okay? And I'm still getting used to it. That's an ABS nut. I am not sure what ABS means. But I thought it would be something like a sheep plastic nut. And it's definitely not. It's a very dense, hard material. I know this because I made these slots a little bit deeper for the strings. 
I had a little bit intonation issues on the first frets here because these strings were too high over the first fret and so I lowered them and I really had to work in this material. Um, it's very hard. And also the scale length, 25.5, that's the longest standard scale length like on the M rocks. Um, helps a little bit with the string tension. Yes, yeah, standard Fender scale. Let's continue with the tuners. They work, but they feel cheap. And uh, I had to retune this guitar a lot more than what I'm used to. And I really think it's because of these tuners. I will at some point uh, replace these tuners with locking tuners. Um, I will keep this guitar and maybe modify it a little bit more. It's a great, great value for this price point. Okay, the trussel cover, little Harley Benton uh, logo on it. And yeah, I made photos of everything. So you don't have to unscrew something on your guitar if you want to see how it looks underneath it. And very clean. Uh, even under this plate here, very clean. And the truss rod works great, no issues here. Okay, now to the pickups, Artec Ceramic pickups. If you don't know Artec, they make a lot of preamps. I got a pedal here from Artec and they make great pickups. And if you think, oh, 150 euro, I really have to change these pickups. No, please wait and check them out because I think they are pretty great. We got a five way switch. You got in between sounds. You will have the neck humbucker, neck single coil, the outer coil, by the way, both humbuckers. And on the fourth position, you will have two single coils. Um, I'm not sure which ones, to be honest. And on the last one, of course, the bridge pickup, which is again on a guitar like this, the most important pickup. Great sounding pickup, in my opinion. It reminds me a lot of um, EMG HZ pickups, something. They got an active touch to them. Uh, very much output because of the ceramic uh, neck pickup ceramic too, so a lot of output too. Please really check the distance between strings and pickups because this makes a lot of difference on this guitar. In fact, the sounds I recorded at first, the pickups were too high and the neck pickup was way too much bass and the bridge pickup uh, was uh, really ear piercing highs and I adjusted everything and re-recorded everything. These in-between sounds, uh, there's a huge volume drop, but they are great for clean sounds. <laughs> Thank you. 
hardtail bridge, a good working bridge, not something like hip shot or something, but there's nothing wrong with it, you know, nothing moves or something, no springs that make some sounds, a good working bridge. Just if you are interested in it, I made photos of the humbucker cavities. They tried a little bit to shield these cavities, but yeah, they made a bad job. Also the electronic cavity I made photos of. And again, they tried to shield the cavity, but yeah, uh, they missed some spots. And overall the electronic is pretty basic. Just the five phase switch is a little bit interesting because of these in-between sounds. If you turn down the volume, you will lose high end. So I recommend a treble bleed mod on the volume pot, you know. Um, the tone pot is very aggressive. If you turn this down, you will lose volume and all the high end at all. Um, I never use the tone pot, especially on this guitar. But yeah, that's it. Yeah. So, final words. Um, 149 euro. It's the best guitar I have ever seen for this price point. Um, the first impression I had was clean, super clean. That's something I'm absolutely not used to. All of the time I have to clean these guitars when I receive them uh, because they will be dirty from the factory or something. But this guitar, super clean, very hard, good, nut. Nice, nice fingerboard. I really like these pickups. Uh, really check them out before you, you know, order new pickups. Um, the strap pins are big. They can stay true. The finish, the colors, the metallic finish, very great. I got very, very tiny spots sometimes, but almost not to see. I really have to look like this to find them. Please use my link, grab yourself your favorite color and see it for yourself. Um, these guitars are so great for the money. The link in the description or the first comment will lead you directly to all the R446. Um, please use this link and really check it out for yourself. Also join me on Facebook, Thoman and Harley Benton support group or my private site, Cory Mura on Facebook. And yeah, I think that's it. Have a nice day.